Hello and welcome back. Today I want to show you a new deck. My, it's calling Boros Exert because a lot of creatures has the function of Exert. It means if the creature attacks and you use the special ability Exert, then the creature don't untap uh, um, <clears throat> during your next untap step. But the, the profit is that you get some special abilities. Here you see if Exert a creature. You gain one life and the other people, the opponent, lose one life. With the key card here, um, you can play with 3-3 uh, three, three, uh, perfectly if you have um, some problems um, against you. If you have a barricade, you play only um, 3 or 4 and exert all your creatures, then they get enough damage to kill the opponent. But let's, uh, <clears throat> let's do and jump into the deck. And what we can I talk to you before? Um, yeah, um, I'm too free to play a uh, player, and I don't have enough wild cards to build all the big, big stuff. But this is tier two deck, I think so. And I'm a little bit bor worried, nah, boring, about all the white and blue decks and all um, the red deck wins and Demir decks. Every time I see the same decks. But now we start here and um, yeah, I show you the deck. We have a lot of creatures there, um, and um, it's the deck uh, plays like a little bit like a similar like the red deck wins, but have more pressure and more defense uh, to protect your life. And you can live uh, with the glory here. I have only two one of them. Um, the three one is uh, the good creature. But like, jump into and look at how many creatures we have. We have 26 creatures. This, this is a lot. Um, 10 non-creature spells, and we play with 24 lands. We have a big slot for two two drops, and a, yeah, and middle slot of three, and only a few cards. They cost four or five mana. This is only the angel and the glory bringer. Okay. Now we can go to the deck, and yes, this is the first card, it's Glory. 3-1, if you exert it, he gets a plus 1, plus 3, and have lifelink. I have only two of them, but it's, it's cool, I think, but he is very vulnerable, but okay, kill, uh, uh, destroy very easily, because he has only one toughness um, point. And if you play against red deck wins, and this is a big uh, problem for the deck. If the other deck it's faster than than we, then yeah, then we can lose. We have a good matchup against mid range decks or control decks because we are very fast. He has another fast creature to two. If we attack with them and we exert it, he gets flying and plus one plus one, and you fly over the other blockers. It's cool. You can play him or. Um, um, when we um, play um, the uh, the enchantment, um, this is this is called against um, all the gods and everything like this. Then we have here the exhort creature to two. It's also cool because if you have enough or not not good stuff on your hand and you exert it, you can draw and discard. Or no, first you discard and then you draw a new card, perhaps a lens. And and you can um, discard the Earth Shaker because he come back if you have six lands. But the Earth Shaker and all the other two drop stuff is cool because then you can play the Earth Shaker or the Minotaur and um, the creature out of the game or on, on the battlefield can block and you have enough pressure to deal with the opponent. Yeah, the 2-1 come into play and um, the creature with tough uh, power 2 can't block. If you play the glory or the flyer here and um, and you play the Earthshaker, that's great. And I prefer to take the lightning strike into my deck. Um, I don't like the uh, what is calling two mana instant. Where is it? A braid. I think a braid. It uh, deals three damage to a creature, destroy an artifact. Where is it? Uh, ah, instant. Mm -hmm. Oh no, uh, don't find it. I think it's uncommon. Yeah, um, I try it out and um, 
get, come to the result that lightning strike is better. Yeah, one moment uncommon. Here is it. Three damage. Uh, not often people play actual um, a lot of um, artifacts. Therefore, I like to try lightning strike out. And um, yeah, after I try it out. Um, it was a good and was a right decision. Yeah, I want to show you some new deck. I don't see any uh, exerted deck. Hopefully we get um, a lot of new um, deck styles and not only the T1 style. Um, the t the t the t the t these decks are playing in standard in the top 10 and it's often very, very um, yeah, boring. Yeah, now we can captain. We take the Captain Lenary. This is 2-2. If you come to play an attack, we get an um, artifact. It's cruel to ramp um, our uh, to our five um, to our five slot, or um, for the glory bringer or for the angel. If you play them, we attack. We get a token. Next round, we can play a land, and we have enough mana to build it. Yeah, to create a five slot. Now we have um, our key card. It's a really, really pain for the um, for the opponent. Um, yeah, a lot of people don't um, have a good handling with this type of deck because he don't doesn't seen seen it in the in the past. Yeah, and we only have one cast out. Um, it's for a special card like a um, god, like a pl against planeswalker. It's surprising. Um, yeah. And here's a surprise card. A lot of people don't have a feeling and don't think that this kind of deck uh, plays with the Seat Settle. Um, but oftentimes, Seat card win, win the game, uh, especially if we play against Merfolk or a lot of um, yeah, creature based deck. And it's cool. Then we can clean up the board. Yeah. Um, but if the opponent play carefully. It's uh, it's not so easy. So Lyra, it's the key card. I think you can you can change it um, against um, two other glory bringers if you don't have Lyra. Then um, it has this deck no no music, only rares, only uncommons and only commons. And um, yeah, I prefer I like the Bane Slayer Angel. It's one of my favorite cards in the past. Play often. Um, um, in the tournament and yeah it's 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 really really great but I think the Lyra has one yeah one problem they um, has no protection against drains okay so, um, what can I talk to you about the deck anymore now here's the key card play it win it love it the deck is very really easy to play but carefully you have to choose when you exert a creature if you attack with the glory bringer and you exert it it's don't untap the lura has the possibility to bring your life um, life back especially if you play um, versus other aggro decks this is a mid-range aggro deck um, i like it a lot i hopefully you also Try it out if you have the cards. It's not very, really, very really expensive. Uh, the expensive thing, um, but the cliff top, um, yeah, I, 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 I got it uh, in my drafts. It was perfect. I was very, really, very really happy to to get the lands because the lands are the solution, um, is the key for for the wins. Yeah. If the mana base is not correct and the mana curve is not uh, not perfect then you have a lot of problems. Okay, mm, yeah, I talked to you a lot of, of my new deck. I play it and um, I have a good win chance and a win rate. Hopefully you like it. Give me, um, yeah, give me a comment um, in the subtitle. And yes, now we can go to the games. Um, I try it out. Normally the uh, games are really, really fast. We will see. Have fun. Okay, let's start it. Um, yes, uh, the opponent uh, goes first. Um, okay, we have to wait if he mulligans or keep the hand. Hopefully, 
<coughs> we we get a new uh, we get a good hand card we good hand cards. Okay, my friends. Um, well, we also say hello, and yeah, hopefully <laughs> we can start the game soon. And we will see. Hopefully, um, our start hand is good. Yeah. Okay, we play a little bit. No, we see nothing on our library. Okay. Come on. Okay, our start hand. Oh, we have a nice... Yeah, that's nice. We keep it. We have a good two drops. We have, we have four really, really good three drops. Can play the glory in the second round. And hopefully we don't play against one of the typical decks. Uh, actual versus... White blue uh, control or uh, Demir control or red deck wins. Hopefully, we see some new type of decks or a casual deck. It's also good. Okay, first we play um, the mountain. In the next step, we play the glory. Then we can, in the third round, play the Minotaur for the attack. Oh, it seems to be that we play against. Yeah, uh, uh, oh. Oh, nice one. Uh, a, yeah, a green deck? Yeah, it's, it seems to be. And 7-6 uh, is really, really big, and we have to be a little bit be careful. But now he has only 3 mana. Okay, we will see the 5-4. Okay, attack. We, that's not a problem. We can also give um, the attack back. Oh, what is this? Merfolk? Merfolk deck? Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. What we play? The 3-3? Three, three? Yes, this one? Sure. Then we can attack <coughs> for uh, 3 and give him an exert. Then you get 1 plus 1 is 4-4. Four, four. Lifelink. And we deal one, 1 damage uh, because the function of the 3-3. Three, three. Um, and we get one life. Now we get four life and he gets four damage. I don't understand why he down blocked the creature with uh, the hex proof of 1 1. But okay, it's nice for us. Then we can, okay, we get that attack back. Okay, now we are at 19. Oh, the 3 4 is also a nice creature. Yeah, yeah, we play another one. Now we have um, two of them out there. No, no attack. Sure. If we attack with all our creatures, then we deal six damage because each of the creatures deals uh, now two damage if we attack with exit. If we play the... Okay, it's a little bit like an army. It's a mix, mixture of different types creature types. So, yeah, it's a great wall of creatures. And we can't fly over there. Hmm. Yeah, we play uh, first the another one. Now we have three of them. And another one is also an exot creature. We can attack uh, with the um, 2-2 two, two to fly over um, his army. Deal 3 damage. And... Should we attack? No. No. Now we have five creatures. The five creatures deal exactly 50 damage. Yes. Okay. He has nothing to... Yeah, he can't do nothing. Now we are also direct damage. This is great. We have uh, three of them. We have five creatures. Five creatures with exit. Um, yeah. It's 50 damage, actual. Now there are 18, and with the lightning strikes, 21. He is really, really dead, and we win after 5 minutes. Yes, the deck is really, could be really, really fast. I told to you. <coughs> it's, um, it's also, yeah, it seems to be actual like a really nice red deck win, but with the function of exert, and we play with white, and this is a new type of deck. Hopefully, <clears throat> yeah, we find in another um, another great match. And now, yes, yeah, a lot of abilities, 
and we earn the win. Okay. Great. Our next game. Hmm. Should we keep it? Only two white manas. Yeah, come on. We tried. Hopefully we 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 can draw a red um, red mana. We can also play the white and can cycle um, the enchantment to draw a card. Hopefully we will see. <laughs> and yeah, the first uh, first match was very very crazy. It was a crazy mix mixture of of different creature types. Okay, we cycle because we need a red mana. No red mana, but a five mana drops. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. And we play against Merfolk. I love Merfolk. <laughs> okay, we uh, need an answer. Oh my goodness. We need red mana, please. Oof. Okay. Who gets the plus one plus one counters? Okay. Nice. Okay, yes, we exile this creature. Mm. Come on, red mana. Yeah, great. Okay. Uh, <laughs> now we play the first, um, the three as a blocker. And build up a little bit our army. I don't want to kill the three three with a lightning strike. It's not necessary, actual. Yeah. If we get another mana, then we can. Uh, ooh. Ooh, perhaps it was a wrong decision. Okay, now he's 4-4. Oof. Okay, now he has a fourth mana. Mm. Okay, we don't attack. And still waiting for the attack of the opponent to ex hopefully attack with all of the creature that we can exile the oh great yeah now it's the chance that the attack with all of the creature is is higher than before and then we can play our the instant to ex all exile all his creatures and clear up the boards oh ooh, my god <sighs> okay Nice. We give him a good feeling that we are really impressed. It's not nice to do this because we we show him that we don't have anything. But now we kill all his stuff, his attacking stuff, and exile this. And the next round we can kill the pumper to two with the lightning strike. Okay, we play the two one and the other two four can't. So now we play this because then he will block the three four. And then we can kill the 2-2 two, two, and the 2-4 uh, lose as a plus 1 plus 1 counter. Okay, you don't block it. Hmm. Shitty. Hmm. He is at 15 life, we are 60. Uh, we have more hand cards. Okay. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Okay, you can do this. 
it's not possible to kill the creature. If he attack, yeah, we block him. Yeah, if the uh, two one um, dies, it's not very, uh, yeah, it's not not really uh, hard because we can play it for the six mana and uh, get it get it back. And yeah, then we kill <coughs> the two two. Yeah, and uh, he has no blockers, he has nothing to do, he can't do anything. Oh. Oh, my mistake. Oh. Mm. Bad play. Ah, what we can do? Okay, we play the Minotaur. Attack, attack. For six. Without exert. We don't need the life. And. Yeah, this is very, very uh, typical that uh, you don't block with a. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, now he can build up his uh, army because the enchantment give him a uh, 1 1 hexproofer. And we have some problems because we need one mana more. Hmm. Yeah, all his creatures. So two two has hexproof. Hmm. Should we attack? No. If we get one mana more, then we can play the glory bringer. We can attack for four in the fl in the, in the air. Then he has five. Okay, now we get four damage. Okay, now we have the fifth five mana. Now we have five mana. We can play the glory bringer. Then we take for four. Then he has five life. We exert for three. He's at uh, three damage. Five two. Then we can destroy one of them and. One of them of his creatures can't block. Yes, we win. Great. Okay, one of his creatures can't block. We choose uh, the 2 4. The Glory Bringer deals 4 damage to the Pumper. Then he, have, then he has only um, 2 blockers. We have 4 attackers. He gets 3 damage of the ability. He is at 4. No, uh, 6. Then we deal 4 damage uh, into the air, and um, he can only block two, 2 of them, and the 2 1 kill him, hopefully. Or oh, he has an unsum on his hand. No, we win! Cool! Yes, that's nice. Okay, the, the party started again. Now, our third game. Oh, it seems to be that we play against a red deck when the horror of our deck. Mm. And we have no white mana to clean up the board really, really soon. Oh, yeah. Houston, we have some problems. Three damage. Okay, here's a white mana. Then we can play the 2-2 as a blocker for the for the goblin, uh, but I think he has a, uh, a removal, a magma spray or a lightning strike or something like this. Or he play the 3-2, um, yeah, and our creature can't block. Then we get 6 damage, then we add a 10. Oh my goodness. Uh, Okay, we have to play the 2-2, two -two because we need uh, the token uh, as, a, uh, as a second white mana. Um, if he attack, then we can clean up the board. Uh, 
but we are only at 10. Oh, the another one. Now we get 5 damage. Oh, I hit 2. Can't block. We get 5 damage. We had 5. Oh, <laughs> this is so nice. Okay, Retic Rins is, is a pain. Okay, we will see. He take with all of the creatures. Come on. Please. One, two, three, four. That's great. Okay, we clean his our board. But we have the problem we are only at uh, at five. If he has two lightning strikes, then we are dead. Or he drew two other mana, then we can uh, he can deal two damage with the land and one lightning strike, and we are also dead. Now he has enough mana to play in the next round. Um, yeah, to, uh, use the desert ability. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay. I don't understand why he played not on our our face okay okay we play our exit creature then we attack for three because we need the, uh, the life now we at six if he has two lightning strike then we are dead hopefully not ooh Ooh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. What we can do? Tech for three. We get one damage. On live, we had four. Okay, two damage to us, and he do this again, and then we lose. Yeah, it's a pain, the red deck wins. Hopefully, we get a rematch. We will see. Mm, now our fourth game. Okay, we are a new player. We are on the draw. We have a great uh, mana curve. We have um, three two drops. Oh, not again. A red deck win. Oh, we will see. Yeah, this looks like. Why has Red Egg won each player the goblin on his hand in the first? This is unbelievable. If I play a Red Egg win, I drew not often the goblin. <laughs> yeah, but um, I don't like this type of deck because it's too aggressive and yeah, it's, it's only attack, attack, attack. But it's not easy to play. Huh? Red Egg Win is not easy to play. Okay, we attack first. Because we don't want to lose our 3-1 um, drop. Uh, our glory. Because now you can kill him. This is not a, not a problem. Then we play our 3-1. And save him against the goblin. Yeah, the one and only. And another goblin. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Uh, I don't know if you have also the feeling that a lot of people play every time the same type of decks. Red deck wins, red deck wins. And uh, you white control decks. It seems to be, yeah. Okay, but we have a good hand and here and um, um, and en enough mana. And he's uh, yeah, he's uh, short on mana. It's our luck. Okay, we kill him. His uh, one two drop because if he have some direct damage, 
then we don't get any minus one when minus one counters on our glory bringer bringer. Hmm. Okay, we play the two one and the three two. Deals five damage, then he is at eight. And he has not enough mana to kill us in the next round. He can play uh, Minotaur, then he deals only seven damage. We have nine life. Or he get take and we get a lightning strike. We also get maximum of seven damage. And if he don't kill one of our creatures, then he's dead because we can pl um, exert the glory bring in the next round to kill one of his creature and can exert the minotaur uh, okay he build up a little bit army a small one okay that seems to be that is our win we can take with the flyer and we reanimate um, the two one as, as a four four then a creature of the opponent can't block then we attack with all Okay, exert, attack, exert, and attack with a 4 4. Kill one of his creature, another can. Yeah, he can only block one, and then he is dead. We win again, the red deck win, but this was really, really lucky because he is uh, short on mana. Thank for the play. But, yeah. This was a big kick in his beep ass. Okay, okay, we jump into the next game. Okay, then uh, you see that um, the deck is really, really fast. We win fast or we lose fast again, red deck. And now we hopefully see other type of deck and not red deck wins. Okay. Red. <laughs> Please, not again. Okay, we play first 2-2. Um, two, two. Perhaps he um, has another goblin. Um, then we can attack with a 2-2 two, two, one. A 2-2. Two, two, and uh, he don't die. Okay, what he is. Hmm. Okay, we attack first. This don't seems to be that this is not a really deck, red deck win because he has no one drop yet. He has no two drops. Hmm. But he has a lightning strike. Hmm. New tower. Okay, we play our key cards, this 3-3, three, three, and attack with the 2, without exert. It's not necessary, we have a good hand cards and uh, don't need it to uh, change the cards with the attack. Another one. Okay. Now we are at 11. Okay, we attack also. D it's 2, 7, 7 damage, then he is at 9. Hmm. 
without exert because we want that the creatures uh, untap in our next untap step. We had 10. Hoo, 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 hoo. It's really, really dangerous what we our play. Okay, when you play a god, he can't attack. If you play another, f okay. If he attack, we can kill one of his creature. Now in the next step, we can play. Um, that's not nice. We can play our Minotaur for the attack. Okay, we kill one of them. Then we can attack for five in our next round. If he has not another Magma Spray, oh, this is cool. Play first of all him and attack for two. Four damage. Then he's at five. Don't sacrifice an artifact. What should no, we do it because then he gets three damage is better than nothing. Uh, in the past, if you have mana in your mana pool and can't use it, you deal, you earn one damage. But this is actual not uh, in the magic rules <laughs> and this is great sometimes i kill myself with an, in the past a lot of years um ago oh i kill myself no i lose again red egg win mm. okay yes uh now on a, yeah our last game, I think so. Oh, I play today only again red deck wins. Okay. Oh no, it's blue. Blue red. Blue red could be the wizard deck. I like the wizard deck. You know the wizard deck? This is really, really cool. You can uh, have, have, have have a lot of creatures with prowess and pump... No. What is this type of deck? It's a... God of the Gift deck? Blue-red? Okay. Oh, that's nice. It's a new type of deck. I don't see it a lot. Um, yeah, we need a lot of speed and hopefully not a lot of creatures go into his graveyard. <laughs> okay, sacrifice it, draw a card, put the goblin into his, uh, uh, into his graveyard, kill one of our creatures and he puts the for one into Ooh, that's not nice. Okay, we we act. Yeah, we attack. And exert uh, the three two because we don't want that he block with the one one. He puts a small one, small creature into his graveyard. But. Uh, he has another draw and discard spell. Foo, 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 foo. One, two, three creatures. He said twelve. If we attack with the flyer, he get four damage. He's at eight. Then we can attack with uh, the 2 2 and exert it. Then it's also a flyer, then he gets 3 damage more, then he is at 5. 
Come on, let's try it. Okay. We deal seven damage in. Yeah. Now he has five. Three creatures in his graveyard. One, two, three. He and what he put okay another creature he has one two three four creatures Bring the 4-4 four, four back. We can attack with all. The flyer deals 4 damage to one of his creature. The other one will can't block. Oh my. Okay. A bad strategy. I want to three, four, five, no four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Four creatures in the graveyard. Okay. Okay, we don't attack. And still waiting. But in our next round, we can win if he has not another unsummon or uh, bring back card. Okay, the next one. Okay, we the flyer. Then we attack. And we attack with with all. We will see. Four damage to them here. He gets two life. He's at seven. Is this is a good idea. Mm -hmm. No, but we do this. <laughs> Perhaps we are shouldn't attack with all. We uh, yeah. But it seems to be that we get the win and he's dead. Yeah, if you enjoy the video then give me some comments in um, in um, in the context and hopefully you i see you in the next video and thank you for watching and we get the win see you in the next video bye